Hi, Chris Lomas here from Hope4. I am delivering uh, essential items to a refugee centre that's run by the Salvation Army in a place called Yelaven, just outside the capital. And I'm here with an extraordinary woman called Ivana, who is getting ready to go to England as part of the host family scheme. And Ivana has just been telling me about her experience on the ground in Ukraine and what's forced her to cross the border into Moldova and what her plans are from here. So I've asked Ivana, uh, backed by her wonderful children, to explain what's, uh, what's forced her to come over the border. Ivana. Uh, hello, my name is Ivana. I am from Ukraine, from Slavyansk. So uh, I'm sorry for my English. Uh, uh, now we live in Moldova, but uh, after four or five days uh, we want to fly to London uh, because in my country uh, not not. Um, it's dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. Yeah. In my country now, it's dangerous. So uh, I, with my family, uh, run. Yeah. And and what's uh, how long do you think you'll be in England for? Uh, uh, in England, uh, I will. Uh, I hope I will uh, live in England not uh, not a long time. Because I want a home, I want to come back uh, for my husband uh, and uh, live together. <laughs> yeah. And is your husband fighting? Uh, no, now, he's, uh, now he is... Uh, um, um, uh, humanitarian. Humanitarian. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Amazing, amazing. It's incredible, actually, when you hear stories of people in need themselves being the ones supporting their own countrymen. It's been a pleasure to meet Ivana and her children and her parents. And uh, on behalf of Hope4, we wish them well. And it's just a privilege to be able to stand with them, to support them, to support the center that they're at. We're really grateful to everyone that makes that possible. If you'd like to join the fight, please head over to hope4.org forward slash donate Ukraine. I will update you further.